Hello, artists. Do you like to look up at the evening sky? The nighttime sky is not always black, is it? It can be so many brilliant shades of colors at sunrise and sunset, from purples, blues, and greens, to reds, oranges, and pinks. We call this a galaxy sky, and they are so much fun to create. This is the artist Jen Arani. She loves to paint galaxy skies in all sorts of beautiful color combinations. Jen Arani likes to paint her mini masterpieces inside fun shapes such as rectangles, squares, circles, and even triangles. The trick to making a beautiful galaxy sky is to blend colors together that are alike. Greens and blues, purples and pinks, reds and oranges. How do we know what colors blend well together? The color wheel. Colors that are next to each other on the color wheel blend together the best. Now that you know the trick, are you ready to make your own galaxy sky? I will show you two different galaxy sky landscapes. You choose which one you want to create. The first will be a simple snowman on a hill landscape using cool colors like greens, blues, and purples. The second will be a mountain and evergreen tree landscape in warm colors such as oranges, pinks, and reds. You can pause the video or skip ahead. Let's get started. You will need a piece of white paper, a pencil, and something to color with, like crayons or colored pencils. To begin, decide what shape you want to make your galaxy sky. A circle, a square. You can draw the shape by hand or trace an item that you have around your house to make it easier. You can trace a bowl to make a circle. Make your shape a little bigger than your outstretched hand. Now, let's draw a winter landscape. A few simple curved lines give us some nice rolling hills. Three circles stacked on top of each other make a snowman. Whatever landscape you draw, Keep it simple with just a few lines and erase the lines that you don't want. Now we can choose colors for our galaxy sky. Looking at a color wheel can help us decide what colors blend well together. Let's choose cool colors yellows, greens, blues, and purples. Keep your crayons or colored pencils ready to go in the order on the color wheel to make it easier. Now it's time to color the sky. Flip your paper upside down or sideways to make it easier on your coloring hand. With your first color, begin filling in the space above your hills or mountains. Using firm, even pressure, color all along the horizon line from one side of your shape to the other. Make sure not to leave any white spots peeking through. A good tip is to use the side of your crayon point or colored pencil point. This will give you the best angle for coloring and help fill in the space. Once you have filled in a layer with your first color, 
use your next color to fill in the space above the first color, but also coloring over part of the first color by overlapping the edge. By overlapping, we are now blending the two colors together. Now we not only have the two colors that we used, but we have made a third color by blending them together. Now repeat this process with the rest of the crayons or colored pencils that you have chosen, making sure to overlap each color. Continue adding layers of color until you have used them all and your sky is completely filled in and beautifully blended. Now, let's take a black crayon or a colored pencil or even a black marker and trace over all of the pencil lines. Take your time when doing this. There is no rush. And don't forget to outline your shape. Add any special details that you want and your galaxy sky is complete. Want to make another one? This time let's draw Jen Arani's style of mountains and evergreen trees. Start with a zigzag line that goes all across your shape. Give your zigs and zags some variety by making some shorter, some taller, some wider, and some closer together, just like real mountains. Some vertical lines beginning at the bottom of your shape and moving up will be the evergreen trees. Want to make the mountains look three-dimensional? Draw a line from the top of each mountain peak down and then over to the bottom of the mountain next to it. Do this on each mountain in the same direction. Now draw evenly spaced lines or hash marks within the shapes that you created. This forms the shadows. Now it's time to color. This time, we are using warm colors. Oranges, reds, magentas, and some purple. Remember to keep the order of your colors, same as the color wheel. Color in your layers remembering to fill in all the space and overlap each color to blend them together.
once you have layered all your colors and blended them together, it's time to trace over your pencil lines in black, crayon, colored pencil, or marker. Fill in the evergreen trees with short hash marks that begin at the top a little bit shorter and get wider as you move down to the bottom of the tree trunks. The last step is to outline the shape. And now your galaxy sky is complete. Enjoy making galaxy skies!